We're here at Miguel Contreras Learning Complex, yeah. putting these panels. They're going to sit for a couple of days, be watered, and then be mounted on this fantastic wall for all the students to enjoy and their Urban Empowerment Club and their Environmental Club. Getting ready to unload some of these panels. At the, the LA required. Regional Food Bank. Yeah. So we're going to be unloading this. I'm busy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> taking out the last panel. I am the Chief Programs and Policy Officer here at the Food Bank. Cool. So anything that has to do with programs here at the Food Bank, food coming out, or uh, many policy matters I handle here at the Food Bank. Excellent. And so uh, it seemed like you were really into this idea of the food chain, the urban farming food chain, right away. Yeah, no, the food bank's been involved with the Urban Garden here uh, basically for the past 14 years. And since I've been here in 99, um, we've always had some sort of urban garden here, except for the last uh, about four or five years. So it's exciting to get one back up and running here at the food bank. Cool. And from what I understand, we're going to be you're going to be engaging the volunteers that come here and right. work at the warehouse? Right, we have one staff person that will basically facilitate it. And then we have about uh, guys, about five volunteers that come about three to four times a week. And so they'll be taking their turns here managing the farm. Cool. Well, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for doing this, too. It's going to have a really perfect, perfect home here. Oh, thank you. We've had a, a history of urban gardening here at the food bank. Um, we had an urban garden uh, for nearly 13 years. Um, on a temporary basis, we had some land from the uh, city of that, Los Angeles and so this opportunity presented itself so we thought well geez you know urban gardening is such a great idea um, we wanted to see if we could participate so this uh, was a, a great um, kind of entry-level thing for us again to come in um, just a couple years after we had stopped our other urban, gar urban garden um, so this wall unit uh, is just incredible technology so um, we had the space so we thought it was a perfect match uh, just started um, over the last couple years purchasing a lot more produce um, that because we're running out of other kinds of food that come in. Um, a lot of donations are down. So we've been uh, purchasing a lot of produce through um, a co-op that we work with a lot of farmers in the Central Valley. Like a CSA? A, a... Uh, a California Association of Food Banks. Uh, we've kind of come together and we have a little more purchasing power with some of the, the farmers in the Central Valley of California. Um, but we're you know trying to bring in almost four million pounds of produce this year. Wow. So, uh, you know, every, every bit helps. And so. how, how many agencies do you provide for, meaning um, how many recipients of your food are signed up with, with the LA Regional Food Bank and your uh, affiliates, I guess? The it? Los Angeles Regional Food Bank, we provide food to about 900 uh, nonprofit agencies throughout LA County. And they, in turn, serve a network of about 670,000 people in LA County that are looking for food assistance. So uh, we're one of the largest food banks in the nation. Um, it's a it's a big epidemic here in Los Angeles County with rising food costs, um, gas prices going up. The cost of living in LA is astronomical, as anybody will tell you, um, living in a big metropolitan area. So uh, food assistance um, is on the rise. So anytime we can come up with a way to bring in fresh produce um, and more food, it's great.